Jim here, Whiskey Philosopher. I've had a lot of people reach out to me in the past months. I don't know if this is a result of the COVID lockdown or not, but a lot of people are really down in the dumps. Um, some of them drastically so. It's, it's really been tough. So I've decided to make a video talking about that while doing some dog therapy. What could be better? Down at the river, playing fetch with the dog in the water. Have a look. Well, here we are back down at the river today, and I'm here with Luna taking a day off. And the theme today is how you doing? How's your 2020 hangover? What did 2020 do to you? I'll tell you what it did to me. It uh, I gained a lot of weight, a fair amount of weight because uh, I spent a lot of time at my desk and my, uh, my tennis courts were closed and tennis is the only exercise that I get. It's my main exercise. I usually play it one, two, or three times a week. Here you go, big girl. Gush. And, and I know that uh, 2020, I had more friends and acquaintances and workmates approach me with feelings of suicide than I've ever had in my entire life. I must have about a dozen people uh, around me who are feeling various stages of, of, of suicidal depression. And uh, that has not been pleasant uh, to deal with because you know, it's not been such a happy time for me as well. There you go. So uh, dog therapy is one effective thing I've been undertaking and going through right now a little bit of a little bit of dog therapy hey where are you going <laughs> there you go there you go shaking it off shaking it off hey hey squeezer um yeah so you know i don't know uh You know, advice for, for folks like that, I'm really at a loss because it, it's been a tough position for me. I have, I have you know, very little advice to, to give someone like that except, you know, find someone to talk to, obviously. Um, another good advice I've heard is like disconnecting from social media because we've been at our desks a lot this year. I know a lot of people have been into the social media scene excessively. Uh, for me, I, I'm not... I'm not a Twitter person, but I hear Twitter is, can be absolutely brutal, a brutal environment, and uh, I, haven't, I haven't witnessed that first stage, uh, first person myself, because I'm not a Twitter person. Hey, big girl, what's up? <laughs> Are you overachieving, huh? Are you overachieving? I guess so. Come on over here, big girl. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Good jump, huh? So as for myself, I don't know. I mean, YouTube's been a little bit of... I, I watch a lot of YouTube. And as some of you know, I make a... Are you going to get me wet with a shake here? Look at let go. Oh, man, that is really sandy, huh? It's going to be a fun ride home. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. What could be better than that, huh? Yeah, so I, I watch a lot of YouTube. And, uh, you know, I've, I've got the two channels that are semi-active. Um, however, I watch a lot of YouTube. I try not to watch too much political stuff because that'll drive, drive anybody nutty. And I know we're just coming out of some pretty compressed times politically. So disconnecting from, from a destructive bubble, if, if you happen to be a person who, who's prone to that with YouTube, I, I guess that could be something to unplug from. Twitter, I've heard. Facebook is my main thing. Facebook is kind of benign for me. You know, I don't have, you know, I think Facebook really, you know, cuts off. They don't, they don't really let too much uh, bullying or cyber harassment or stuff like that. So that, that's been a 
fairly been a lot of cat <laughs> cat videos and dog pictures and uh, stuff like that. So I keep in touch with my high school friends, which is awesome. Before that, I don't even know how it happened, actually. How was it possible? I really don't know. I guess we did by email. I don't, I don't really recall, honestly. Oh, Galloper. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're one of those people who's fallen into the, you know, feeling pretty depressed crowd, get a dog <laughs> or borrow a dog. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I come home no matter what kind of day I've had and I've got this waiting for me at the door, happy no matter no matter what's going on. This, you know, I've got I've got one happy face. Woo! <laughs> and maybe more than one happy face, but I know I have at least one happy face waiting for me at the door. You know, always happy to go for a walk even in the most miserable conditions. Come on, pup. Come on, pup. Come on. Gets pretty cuddly at night. But this tossing, man, I mean, she could infinitely uh, patient for something like this. I mean, I, 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 as many times as you'll toss it, she'll, she'll keep coming back for more, which is incredible. And the water's not too cold today, but even in really cold water, she'll be like shivering and saying, throw it, throw it, I dare you, come on. Hey, Squeezer. Boy, you're getting my feet wet, huh? Wow, you are grungy. You're an outdoor dog, huh? You are the outdoor dog. Come here, puppy pup. Here we go. Come here. Come on, pup over here, puppy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. She doesn't want to bring it too close to you uh, because <laughs> while you're walking to get the toy, she's already running and taking off. Which, which is a bad thing, I can't let her do that because very often she'll take off in totally the wrong direction. Now here on the water, it's not such a big deal, but like if you're in the woods or somewhere where there's grass, you know, she went running 50 yards in the total, while, while you were throwing it and she was off and then the toy gets lost and you have to go find it. And sometimes in the water she'll do that. She'll take off quick and, and if she loses it, then she'll be like in this endless, Swimming loop. Now here the water is very calm. You can see it easily, but other places not so much. Oh man, there's a, uh, a cormorant. Can you see it up out there? Diving for fish. Just dove down. Yeah, look at he's down for a long time. There's a place I go uh, diving in uh, Tateyama in Chiba, Chiba, Japan. Uh, there's my my famous Sharknado dive there. Oh, it came up. Give you a good swim there. Well, she didn't seem like she wanted to go in for that one. I was a little bit nervous. Anyway, this Sharknado dive, and there are these uh, water birds. I believe they're also cormorants. They'll come and uh, dive down to 18, 20 meters, which is like 60 feet. They'll dive down uh, because the guys are feeding some of the sharks uh, fish these uh, sardines and the dang birds will swim down to that depth to, to take the the fish from the guys it's incredible hey monster well hopefully 2021 is going to be a better year for everybody we can uh get out more maybe come on get out do the things that you like we can start to shed these pounds that we've gained or i've gained uh, shed these pounds we've gained Seeing more family, get more happy times, get more dog time. But I hope everybody's uh, feeling, you know, check in on people. Yeah, I, I, I probably for older folks. Yeah, I know some people here in Japan have not seen their elderly parents or grandparents in homes for almost a year or maybe a year. You know, it's been a tough time. So hopefully, uh, hopefully all of you are getting to hook up with those relatives. Come on, puppy. Time is our most precious resource and our most precious gift to give. So give the gift of your time to your loved ones. All right, 
right, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. All right, well, I'm gonna sign off here. So, a little bit of dog time, and uh, let's look better to, let's look forward to a better 2021, and you know, take care of yourself and, and the loved ones around you. Make sure everybody's doing okay. All right, see you on down the road.